det vel ligner? Um, can you leave this a little bit um, bigger at this part when you go inside the, the stone after you took this measurement here? Okay. Hi, I'm Dirk. I'm from Germany and I'm working here on a commission and where Evelina gave me a helping hand to enlarge a small model from 22 centimeters to 80, 80 um, on this piece of stone. The commission is um, for a company and uh, the question was to translate the two-dimensional logo in two um, three-dimensional free uh, sculpture. I, I translate the logo um, that the, um, that you can recognize it inside, but it's not a one-to-one -one three-dimensional um, transmitment in, into it. That the stone or the sculpture is an independent um, work which can stand for itself. Here in in between, while we are making the enlargement over there, um, I work. Um, on a commission for myself. Um, I'm, since a few years I work with squares um, and I try to make a development inside um, because it's difficult if you have only a small slab um, of, a, of a stone um, which is not really three-dimensional. Um, I try um, to make a movement inside um, the stone and um, even that this part, the whole sculpture, reacts the whole day over when the light is going around um, um, the sculpture. And because then when the sun is coming from here, I, I've get, I get a shadow play inside and it's like an upcoming down going moon the whole day. And it's going to um, change the whole sculpture. Um, with the different shadow plays because you have this movement here. And for me, it's, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to make this work because uh, even here over the day, um, the surface is going to change. Um, but even in the working process, my uh, ideas are, are changing. Even I made three models because it's a three-part work. And that's what I really love is, um, there are two or three possibilities. And then to have the vision, what of those threes I'm going to realize it. And that's really fun by roughing out um, a, a stone and to come to a clear finished work over here. Those pros are um, the second and the third um, sculpture of the three. I won't say this is number one, two or number three because all of them has to be independent as a, as a work. But I try to show um, a development when the circle um, and the bowl um, getting to movement and starting to open um, that you can look, have a look through from one side to the other one. Um, it gets more and more three-dimensional. On, on this one, in the middle, I, I work so slim, you can't see it here with the light. That the light is going through the marble. And in Germany, in my studio, I usually or often work with alabaster. And the alabaster is a stone where the light comes easily through. Um, to transmit this um, into marble stone, that it goes so slim that the light is coming through, um, that's really fun. And that's really, I, I like um, to go on, on, a, on the edge or on the border of the material. And um, while I'm carving near to the surface, um, it's really, you don't, you, you feel it even through the chisel uh, that you're nearby, uh, that you're not working through the, the stone.